know what's popping. It's your boy from the C, they T.O. Don checking in. Man, back to back days, crazy hype releases. The Jordan 1 Rookie of the Year. Man, that sold out so fast. I was sitting on the Foot Locker website waiting for it to drop. As soon as it hit 10 a.m. Eastern Time, I already had my size selected and hit Add to Cart. It says Add to Cart and said it is for me to um, check out. Well, it sat there forever and ever and ever and ever. So I opened up, up additional windows and was trying to see if I could maybe score them on DTLR. Had two DTLR windows open and I was in their virtual line on both of those pages. Well, they ended up popping up the message saying that, uh, they were sold out on there, so I was closing out those windows, and I screwed up and accidentally closed the Foot Locker window. I was like, oh, I could not believe I did that. <laughs> I was so pissed. I was like, I had them. So I went back later and tried, and after probably two hours, I was able to finally add my size 12 to cart. Got, I ended up... Um, it wouldn't recognize my login, so I just hurry up and click check out as guest. So I uh, was doing that, had all my info put in, typed in my address, my phone number and stuff. It wouldn't allow you to select the country. So every time I try to go next, it wouldn't allow me to go forward with the checkout because the drop down box wouldn't drop down to for me to pick United States. Then uh, I just kept trying and trying. Then it started doing you know, the circle spinning on the screen, and uh, then I get a pop-up message that an error hasn't occur has occurred. So uh, I got so frustrated, I closed up the window. I came back on there later, and they only had a size 10 available. All the other sizes were gone. So I checked Jimmy Jazz website, n nothing. I checked. Uh, let's see what which other ones I looked on. There was another one, but it's like, I can't think of it at the moment. It might have been City Gear, maybe. So I was, um, I was really pissed off. And I called around to the mall closest to me here in Atlanta, Cumberland Mall. And no stores had any except for DTLR. And they went and checked for me. And they had a size 12, so they only had one left. I said, let me guess, you can't hold it. And they said, correct. I was like, man, it's going to be like six hours before I can get there. So I was really mad. I figured, you know, my luck, it will be gone before I had the opportunity to go by and get it. So I was looking on StockX, seeing if the resale was down to a reasonable amount. Because you figure 160 bucks, I would ha have to pay sales tax at 6% here. Um, that would bump it up to around the 170 range. So if I could cop a pair on StockX for, you know, the 190 range, that wouldn't be that bad. So uh, I was telling my buddy how I struck out on it and everything. So he was just messing around and was um, typed in on Google the name of the shoe. And it showed the little um, advertisements to the different stores carrying it. I said, I said click on it, though. It's going to say sold out. He clicks on it. It shows size 12 and size 13 available. I'm like, man, move. <laughs> I hurried up, <laughs> typed in my information, and uh, I actually have an account with them, but I was scared if I logged in, I might lose my opportunity um, to get through checkout. So I just checked out as a guest, and uh, it all went through. Uh, I got the email thanking me for the purchase. Then uh, around about 5 p.m. Eastern today, I got the email um, for the shipment confirmation, so I got the W on that. I got the Joram 1 Rookie of the Year for retail. Um, very happy to get them, especially after striking out on the on the restock on the Easy Zebra on Friday. Um, hopefully this should be here maybe by this time next week, and we'll do an unboxing and check them bad boys out. Uh, let me know your success stories or unsuccessful stories on getting the Jordan 1 Rookie of the Years. Comment down below. Share your stories with me. I would like to hear them. I hope everybody enjoyed today's video. Please give a big thumbs up if you did. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. 
Trends Unlimited merch in the description. Till next time, it's your boy Infamous C, the ATL Don, sign out. Peace. I'm in the trap on the block on my vest and my clock I'm that thug for my land, I still ballin'